hello guys let's implement some class which is circle class so for that i will start with structure circle so i declare struct circle and in that structure i take one data member which is radius of the circle now in main function suppose i create variable of structure circle and i scan and print the values so first i will ask user to enter radius then i will scan it c in c1 dot radius A dot operator i will use if i want to print the area of circle then i will say c out then 3.142 into c1 dot radius into again c1 dot radius so formula for area is pi r square so 3.142 into c1 dot radius into c1 dot radius i am printing now let me compile this code and run it name of the file is circle dot cpp so g plus plus circle dot cpp hyphen o name of the executable is circle dot slash circle so say radius is for you it will print the area 78.5 for you so this program is running it is correct code i am using syntax of structures in c now i want to implement class in c plus plus and i will follow the major pillars of object oriented programming abstraction and encapsulation so here abstraction is nothing but taking data members inside the class so when i write structure i have implemented the abstraction now encapsulation to encapsulate the data i will declare this radius as private so when i do that now let me compile so now it is throwing an error after i declare that radius private it is throwing an error because once i declare some data member as private then its visibility is limited to that class that means now this radius is not accessible outside the class it is accessible only in this block which is for that structure so here it is throwing error when i when i am trying to access it in main function so what i will do instead of accessing the radius in the main function i will write some function fun in the structure circle itself and this code which is taking the radius from the user and printing the area this code i will move in that function fun so now let me compile after i modify the code c1 was not declared in this scope again error is there because now c1 is a variable of structure which is declared inside main function and i am trying to use that in the fun function which is inside a structure circle so here actually there is no need to use c1 as function invoking object or c1 as object so i will remove this now it is getting compiled but if i run this code nothing is into the output because i need to call this fun function so how to call this fun function to call this fun function in main i have to call that as c1 dot fun now this is the first time we are calling some member function there is a difference between ordinary function in c language and and this fun function the functions that we write in c language they were global functions they were not inside some class so they we used to call them directly by name but now this fun function is inside circle structure so i i cannot call it directly i have to make use of variable of that structure so i will say c1 dot fun now if i compile again this will give an error now this is because as radius is private this fun function is also private so i cannot access that in main function so what i will do to overcome this error i will declare this fun function as public and now the error is gone so now if i run 
it is asking me radius and it is printing the area so here I have also implemented encapsulation because now this radius is private it is not directly accessible in the non member function if I want to access that in the non member function or main function I will go to some function fun now instead of writing fun function let me divide the code in different functions like suppose the code which is accepting the radius I put it inside the accept function so this code is accept then I write one function which is show area function which will calculate the area and it will print that and now let me add one more function which is show perimeter function or show peri function which will display the perimeter so here I will display C out formula for perimeter is 2 pi r so it is 2 into 3.142 into radius so to accept the data I will call accept function c1 dot accept then c1 dot show area and c1 dot show peri spelling mistake in accept so it is taking the radius and it is printing both area as well as perimeter now when I give two value for radius both values are becoming same let's give some different value for you then area is 78.5 for you and perimeter is 31.42 now instead of writing these functions inside the structure itself now let me change one more thing here before I go that go for that instead of declaring this as a structure now I will declare that as a class because structures and classes are same in C++ there is only small difference between structure of C++ and class of C++ and that difference is in structure by default access specifier is public however in class the default access specifier is private so once I declare that as a class even there is no need to write struct circle here I will simply say circle c1 compile run yes it is working now generally we do not write the definitions of the member function inside class we write only declarations of the functions inside class and definitions are outside so I will put the definitions here and declarations for accept show area and show peri I will put them here and when I write the definitions of those functions outside the class to indicate that they are member functions of the class I need to do something when I define the functions first I will write return type after that since they are member functions of class circle I have to provide class name and scope resolution so this is the syntax that I need to follow when I write a definitions of member functions otherwise they will become global functions now I will compile and run so it is printing area and perimeter so let me type it here area equals to something and here it will be perimeter equals to some value So it is taking the radius and printing area and perimeter so this is the first class in C++ that we have implemented which is circle class 
So we are supposed to always implement a class like this. Data members will be private and member functions will be public most of the times. And those functions I will define outside the class and I will call them in main function with some object of the class. Now here C1 is called as object. C1 is object of class circle. Then radius is called as data member. So you are supposed to remember these terms. Except show area and show perimeter are, are called as member functions. And we are invoking the functions except show area and show perimeter using this C1 object. So th this C1 is also termed as function invoking object. When we call some member function using C1 object, we term C1 as function invoking object. So all these things you need to remember from this video. We have implemented class circle like this. So radius is a data member of class and functions are accept show area and show perimeter. In the main function I am creating the object of class circle and I am calling the member functions. So here if you see radius which is data member it is at the core. Now outer to that there is one layer and this layer is of member functions. So functions like accept show area and show perimeter show peri are here to the outer layer and outside to that there is a main function. So now this main function is also called as client code. So main function or client code do not have direct access to the radius it is private. So if, if it wants to access the radius then it has to go to the public member functions of a class. So these public member functions of class are acting like as an interface to access the private data members. So this is how we are achieving abstraction and encapsulation in our class. So please subscribe to my channel. I will see you again in the next video.